Hey guys, I'm coming to you today with a topic that I want to talk about, which is mascaras that I really love. Um, I have three mascaras that I absolutely love. Now, I'm not going to say that I don't wear anything else, um, because for some reason, if I can't find my three best friends, then yes, I do stare off and I grab something else real quick to wear. Um, but most of the time, I will go between CoverGirl and Maybelline. Um, my favorite cover girl that I like to wear is called Lash Blast Volume and it's in waterproof and this is it right here. It's orange. Um, and when it comes time for the applicator, real quick just to open it up, this is what it looks like. And this is when they came out with those spike, you know, applicators. This one um I actually use, I don't use for my top lashes, I really only use it for my bottom lashes. One, because it's waterproof and my eyes are a little sensitive and I work in food. So when we're doing certain things, my eyes, you know, they start to work, tear up and I don't want my mascara to run. Um, I do like this one because it creates enough volume. I am wearing it right now. did wear it to work, but I absolutely love this. It's waterproof. I think this is in Black Noir. Um, I'm sorry. This one's in very black. So if you're ever looking for a cover girl, uh, mascaras to put on your lower lashes, I recommend this. Yes, I do wear two separate mascaras. Um, the Colossal Lashes, I do like this. It's ever, this is really hard to apply to your bottom lashes. If I attempt to apply it, I either sometimes it touches my face, I have to wait for it dry to clean it up. Um, or it just kind of makes them like clump together and it looks like I'm wearing mascara. Well, right now, it doesn't look like I'm wearing mascara. And I don't know if you guys can really see it, but it doesn't, it just looks, you know, nice. It doesn't look like I have on makeup. Um, so this is definitely one product that I really, really like. Um, and this is just for my top lashes. And when I apply that, and this is not what I'm wearing right now, but when I apply it, um, it definitely makes your lashes look like, you know, they like kind of flip up more, so to say, but it brightens your eyes up. Uh, not going to say that the other mascara, which is the Mega Plush, I absolutely fell in love with this the first time I tried it. I was like, oh my goodness, my lashes are so soft. Not saying that this isn't a good mascara or that my CoverGirl isn't a good mascara. But when I put on my Mega Plush, oh my goodness, my eyelashes feel super fantastic. And it actually lasts pretty long. I can wear this for almost 24 hours without the formula starting to break down. Um, one of the things I noticed with the Colossal Lash is that the formula actually starts to break down. Um, and if I take and I rub my face, it'll actually break apart. Not necessarily smear or smudge, but it'll break apart where I'll have actually black particles, you know, here or there, whatever the case may be. Where I don't have that problem with this, not around until maybe, like I said, the 24-hour mark. But within 12 hours, I know this one does start to break down. Now, closer to 24 hours, yes, this does start to break down, but... It doesn't break down as much. And it's actually a lot harder to get off. Um, I do recommend getting this off with a eye makeup remover um, just so you get it all off. Like I thought I had it off when I washed my face with just soap and water, but it was like a moisturizing soap. And when I actually took and rubbed my eye, I actually had mascara underneath here and kind of smudge over there. So definitely for the Mega Plush, I definitely recommend that you have a eye makeup remover, something um, maybe oil-based to take this off. Um, with this, because it's waterproof, you definitely need an eye makeup remover for it, um, or something that's oil-based. But this one, this one just washes right off with no problem whatsoever. Now, I used to use L'Oreal, um, I think it's like Double Extend, where you would apply like a white coat first, and then you would apply a black, and it would extend your lashes. Yes, you get this done in one step with this, um, mascara. So definitely Maybelline mascaras, they're like $2 cheaper than L'Oreal, but they're like, a lot better than L'Oreal. That's just my opinion with the look that I like to go for with my eyes. Like I don't like the false lashes, so to say, because I think sometimes it's just too much. I don't like to exaggerate what I have. I like to accentuate what I have. Um, so definitely these three mascaras are like your three best friends. You know, if you're just going out real quick and you want to have like a longer looking lashes, I definitely recommend this one. But if you want something that's more subtle but still full and gives you like longer lashes with the volume that you're looking for and the, you know, just the fullness and the length, this is definitely like your your business office look because it's, you know, polished and it's more subtle where this is definitely more extreme. Um, and it's more like your club going under bright lights, you know. So definitely, I love both of them. You can even mix them up. Um, I would recommend if you're going to mix them up to use this one first and then apply this one because this one is a gel color. So it's buildable and um, it just, it 
when you go to try it, as I've, you know, gone back and forth and trying, you'll absolutely love this one, you know, more than you love this one, but you'll love both of them. Um, but you'll see what I'm talking about is and you put this one down first and put this on there and it just gives it like this. It's like almost dramatic, but subtle look. And I like the almost, whoa, I lost the earring. Oh no. Okay. I think I lost my pack. <laughs> Um, with this, I put this on my bottom lashes because it gives it the fullness that I'm looking for. Um, like as you can see, I have like I don't know one, but I don't have a lot one. Um, and then I put more so more right within right here because like you know just the bright eyed pop uh, that little pop that you get you know just from once you put it on. So I don't have a before and after when I got dressed because I haven't been working, came home, and everything else. Um, but definitely the cover girl. And this is the Lash Lash Volume. Use that for your bottom lashes. I absolutely love this. And then when it comes to your top lashes, I'm a Maybelline girl, like, to the fullest. I do, like I said, I step away every now and then, but I always come back to my Maybellines. And these are my two best friends. Like, when I'm going to the office, when I'm going to work, but when I want a more dramatic look, I'm going to use my Colossal Lashes. So I hope this is a little bit informative for you or very informative for you guys. Um. Maybelline for your top lashes and this cover girl for your bottom lashes. Um, and just so you guys can see what the brushes look like, here is your Colossal Lash. It's your typical um, mascara brush and it has the uh, your regular bristles on there. And of course they're swirled around and I'll just do a quick little 360 for you so you can see what it looks like. Um, and this came from my Colossal Lashes. Now, with the Mega Plush, this mascara uh, is a little bit different, as you see. It comes out, and the tip is actually pretty flexible. I like that because it, I have not... You know how sometimes you put mascara on, and you'll get it some like, right here, or you try to put on your bottom lash to get on your face? For some reason, I have not done that with this particular brush. Um, and just so you can see what it looks like, just do a quick sticky. This is, like, the, the prickly porcupine-ish so I say, like the, I'm going to call this the hybrid brush. And the reason I call this the hybrid brush, because when I show you my next brush, you'll see why it's the hybrid. It's not exactly, you know, your average uh, mascara brush. But when you look at CoverGirls, the prickly pine, this is why I call Mega Plus the hybrid. You take this out. You see how that is like, when we back it up. So you see how it's kind of prickly? Okay, so I call the makeup flush the hybrid. So this is definitely a lot easier for grabbing your lower lashes and you know applying this on there. And again, like I said, this one with that tip and how you know this is what it, you know what it does. It like it makes it easier to conform to the shape of your eye versus your eye trying to conform to the shape of the brush. So definitely, I absolutely love this. The brush is fantastic. Um, subtle, more dramatic. And of course, you need something that's waterproof. I just like the way this one looks. I do try out different things. Um, but I'll probably, you know, go to get one of my new Maybellines, something that they come out with. Probably falsies. I'll get one of those and just get that in the waterproof and put that on my bottom lashes. So in any event, I will talk to you guys later. Um, but definitely, these are my three best friends when it comes time for my mascaras. Okay? So I will chit-chat with you guys later.